Three and a half years ago, I'm lying in bed, about to bust one off to the hub. It was about 30 minutes past my bedtime, so I had to finish this one quick. So I get on there and I finish off in about three to five minutes. I can't exactly remember, but it was something around that. And I don't know if this was just me, but I couldn't watch corn and then go to sleep straight away. I had to watch corn and watch something else and then go to sleep. I couldn't sleep with all the sexual thoughts in my mind. So I went on YouTube and I started scrolling the YouTube feed. There was nothing there. I'd watched all the YouTube I could watch for the day. So there was no other good videos. I keep scrolling and I come past this Jack dude. His skin is glowing. He's like the modern day alpha male before self-improvement was really a big thing. And the title of the video is No Fat Plus Cold Showers for 30 Days. I've heard that cold showers are good for you, but I've never heard what no fat is. So I'll click on it because there was nothing else to watch. I click on it and I'll discover that no fat is no pornography. Yeah, no jerk in the snake to porn. And as soon as I discover that, I feel so guilty about myself because I've been watching porn for the last one and a half years, every single day, basically. But I also feel very, very excited because of the benefits he said. Clearer skin, more energy, more confidence. Yeah, women attraction. Yeah, more motivation, everything. Yeah, a man could ever hope for. You can get this with no fat. I go to bed, very, very guilty, but very, very excited for tomorrow morning ready to start my nofab journey. And I think that the journey to quitting porn is gonna be so easy, it's not gonna be hard at all, but I understand that's gonna be very, very difficult in the next upcoming days. I was a kid who used pornography to escape his feelings of loneliness. Yeah, girls at my school used to pick on me for my face going red, I had zero confidence. Yeah, I got cut from the basketball team, which made my confidence even lower. I had no purpose in my life. So porn, that watching porn and playing video games was my purpose. Yeah, for most teenagers nowadays, that is the case. Yeah, but for me, it was bad, bro. Really, really bad. And I didn't understand that I used porn as an escape from my own thoughts, as an escape from my own life. Yeah, I couldn't get a girl. I had no confidence to get a girl. So I try and go a few days without porn. I get to, I think like two or three days, my first trial, and then I relapse straight away. And as soon as I relapse, I'm like, shit, this is gonna be harder than I thought it's gonna be. And this is gonna be hard. Yeah, I am attached to this. I have no idea how I'm gonna quit, but the benefits are too good not to at least try and quit. So I keep going, I keep going, I keep relapsing that day three or four. I can't get past, I can't get past day four. No matter what I do, no matter how many cold showers I take, no matter how many workouts I have in a day, it's not gonna work. I would never make it past Sunday. I'd wake up Sunday and Sunday was kind of like my rest day. So my mind was programmed to watch porn on a Sunday and watch porn on usually a Thursday and a Sunday. I could not get past those days, right? Thursday was the middle of the week. It was a boring week. I was not motivated, so I watched porn. Sunday was a rest day, no, no work, nothing to attend to. So I'd watch porn, I'm bored. Yeah, those two days always used to get to me until one day, can't remember what ex exactly what day it was, but a girl from my school texted me out of the blue, just saying hi. I found her a little bit attractive. Like if she asked me out on a date, I probably would have said yes. Especially at this point in my life when I was very, very lonely. If she asked me out, I would have said yes. I wasn't gonna ask her out. I was too, too afraid of getting rejected. Yeah, but she said hi to me. Yeah, I think it might've been a Friday or a weekend because I think her friends were uh, with her and that's why she was texting me yeah so i got really really excited we started texting each other like you know little year eight small talk yeah hi what what are you doing nothing all that little small talk type shit that look i kind of missed because it was funny and it made me so excited when someone used to text me bro you know <laughs> but this text it wasn't just a regular ass text i hadn't got a text from a girl in like a year it gave me some it gave me an idea that maybe girls are actually still interested in me because i was i don't know some girls were interested in me in year seven but year eight you know i kind of fell off a lot i started watching porn too much i had no confidence so you know no one liked me then yeah but this text gave me a bit of hope. Maybe if I just stop watching porn, more girls will attract, will, will be attracted to me. And maybe this girl that's texting me right now will be more attracted to me. And maybe I can get with her. Maybe she will ask me out. Maybe my skin will be more clear. Maybe my confidence will be better. Maybe the, the secret little uh, women attraction that NoFap gives you. So because of this spike in motivation, I make it to day seven. I relapse that Sunday. I get past that Thursday and I make it to Sunday. But the urge is way too strong. It's like double the power. I can't beat it. So I end up beating my mate because I couldn't beat the urge. Then I fall back into the cycle, Thursday, or maybe even Friday or Wednesday or and Sunday. It's just this constant cycle, two or three times a week. I can't get past day four, no matter what I do. It got to a point where I got really fucking bad. I had, I had no, I had no idea how I was gonna stop it. Yeah, I had no control over my mind. It was, it was like my hand would just, 
automatically touch my dick and stuff. Yeah, and I got so sick of that. One day I relapsed six times in one day. Yeah, during this time period. I can't exactly remember what day it was. Yeah, but I have relapsed six times on NoFap. I know this is gonna sound so cringe to people, but I'm only saying this for your own benefit, bro. All right, so cut me some slack, all right? You, th you thought that was bad? I woke up the next day. I told myself, after I relapsed six times, I told myself I'm gonna wake up at 5.30 tomorrow morning. I've just busted six nuts. Do you really think I'm gonna have a lot of energy tomorrow morning? I broke my promise, I start my day with an L and I wake up at like 8.30. So, because I've already started the day with an L, let's bust another nut. Try and guess how many nuts I busted that day. Yo, geez, winner. 14 times in two days, bro. Eight times that day. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was fucked. <laughs> this video is probably gonna, gonna get demonetized, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> but when I look back at it today, that was the best thing that could have ever, ever, ever happened to me. Now, let me explain to you why that is the case. After that 14 relapses in two days, I made it to day 14. Mostly because I had zero motivation to even touch my willy because of the damage it's done to me. I was always on another planet after busting that many nuts, bro. Made it to day 14 and I relapsed. But I told myself, I've made it this far. I've made it two weeks. I've never made it past seven days. I am not going to let this relapse affect me. I learned something from my relapse. I deleted Instagram because that was where I got my urge from. I deleted it and I said, fuck this shit. I am never going back to it. I looked myself in the mirror and I told myself I am never going back to it. I know some of you watching this might say, bro, why are you being so cringe? It's not that bad. Porn isn't that bad. Trust me, bro. It is pretty bad. You know, especially for me. It might be different for you. Maybe corn doesn't, you know, affect your life that much. Maybe you're not as addicted to it as I was, but I'm pretty sure someone watching this video can relate to me and how it ruined your life. And that's who I'm trying to help you. A lot of people are going to clown me. Some people, some people from my school are probably going to see this video and think I'm even more of a weirdo than I already am. Yeah, because of the videos I make, I'm authentic. All right, but who cares? Who gives a shit? I know how much this addiction can F up someone's life. All right? Look, bro, if you have tried everything to quit, you have a strong reason to quit, you've created new habits that take your mind away from corn, yeah, you, you occupy yourself, you, you try to desexualize your mind. You try and talk to women, look at them in the eyes and not look at their booty in their cheeks and yeah, their cherries. You look them right in the eyes when you're talking to them. You try all these urge tactics. When you get an urge, do this. You tried everything, just like I did. I tried literally everything, all right? And if you haven't tried everything, then try, yeah? Create a strong reason to quit. And you can find that reason by setting a goal for yourself, a meaningful goal that you can work towards every single day and clearly identifying how corn is gonna hold you back from getting there. Unless you give yourself a reason to quit, that's what you need. Right, but even if you have that reason, it gets to a point where you just need to stop. You have to look yourself in the mirror and you have to tell yourself, I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm not going back to this shit. I am done. We are done. And you have to actually mean it. I know you've told yourself so many times, this is the last time. This is the last relapse I'll ever have. I'm never going to go back to this. But you don't mean it. You don't mean it. If you wanted this shit as, as I'm not going to try, I'm trying not to swear as much so I don't get demonetized. If you want it as bad as you say you do, whatever you're striving towards, and you know corn is holding you back from getting there, you don't want it bad enough. You don't want it bad enough. And I know I said it earlier in this video that it felt like I was automatically touching my dick. I had no control over my hands, bro. Yeah, but you do. You have the thought, you have an urge, to watch corn, you intentionally get your hand and put it down there and start jacking it off. You intentionally do that. I know this sounds really cringe, but I'm talking to the people who won't find this cringe and actually find this valuable. That's who I'm talking to right now. You are in control. You do it on purpose. And if you truly knew, 100% of your mind knew that I shouldn't be doing this right now, you wouldn't do it. Simple. There is a part of your mind that still has that excuse to give in. You must find that ex excuse and challenge that excuse. Why am I even making this excuse right now? Yeah, when you, when you go to relapse, what is your mind telling you? That part of your mind is still alive and you need to kill it. You need to look yourself in the mirror and you need to tell yourself, we are not going back to this no matter how strong the urge gets, no matter how, how much my mind tries to convince me tries to convince me to give in, I am not going to give in. And you must say that. That's it. Leave it there. Never go back to it again. 
No matter how strong it gets, bro, you never do it again, no matter what. Simple. That's how you quit. Sounds basic, but it's the most important thing you'll hear with any bad habit. Yeah, you are in control. Nothing else is. Your mind is in control. You are in control. All right? We don't do this shit no more. Yeah? Hope you find this valuable. And I'll catch you in the next video, my brother. Peace.